right, all right. It is time. It is time. Welcome, welcome to, welcome to Invite, Invite Sense Season this Two. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, welcome to Invite Sense Season Two. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited. I have a very special guest for Episode Two of Season Two of Invite Sense. We're gonna bring him on here in a minute. But hey, we're gonna we're gonna play some. We're gonna play a, a good game, a very good game, and uh, it, we, we neither have played it uh, in a while, but um, it's gonna be fun. And maybe, maybe it's just versus. We'll see. I don't know if co-op works. But if you're in the chat, if you're on Twitch, if you're on YouTube, if you're on Twitter, you're on Facebook, or you're on LinkedIn, or you are on Guild, please drop anything in the chat. We're gonna have fun answering questions, having fun. You know, just enjoy and cater and just. Just ask questions, say whatever, we'll just have fun, it'll be crazy, it'll be good. But I'm gonna bring in the most coolest person I know to the <laughs> show, Mr. James O'Hagan, how are you, sir? I'm doing well, Bubba, how are you doing today? I am great, man, I am glad you're here. I've been I've been looking forward to this this week because, two things, one, I've we've had a lot of shows together, we've done a lot of stuff together, but we've sure never have. played yeah. games together. We've only talked about video games and esports. Never yeah, played. yeah, and there's obviously we, we, you and I have a little more depth, if you will, than just our <laughs> video game lives. <laughs> I, I hear you, I hear you. But yes. this, but this one, uh, you know, originally when you'd said, "Hey, let's pick a game," and I mm -hmm. thought, "Ooh, StarCraft One," because that <laughs> was the game that, uh, for me in college, was the game that that got me really into starting down my path towards. Uh, uh, doing comp not competitive play i've never mm -hmm. been much of a competitive gamer because yeah. i'm terrible and if you run me out on this game i'm not going to feel bad because again <laughs> we're just playing so uh i hope that people who are watching this if they're watching watch you know if they're watching you play or watching me play however <laughs> right. it goes mm -hmm. you know if they make fun of me hey i <laughs> i don't hold any uh I, i'm not out there saying i'm the best starcraft mm. dude I'm sitting here looking at this today, and I'm like, I don't even remember how to uh, make a match. I, I so. yes, I remember. I was looking at the controls, trying to figure it out. It wasn't as you know. The other day, I, we were wanting to play StarCraft One, and I couldn't get it to do anything for me uh, in the sense of uh, getting a multiplayer. So I, I do like StarCraft Two a lot more because I played mm -hmm. a ton of the campaign, and I really enjoyed the campaign. The 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 PvP or the one v one or whatnot. I could never really beat anybody except the computer. So I think we'll be fine having, we're on our own, we're on the same level here. It'll be just yeah. fine. Yeah. Well, and, and here's the other thing too. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing that I loved about StarCraft 1, and again, those mm -hmm. of you who have never, <clears throat> excuse me, had to set up, figure out first of all, is your network running on TCP IP or <laughs> oh is your my network running God. on, or is it running on <laughs> IPX SPX? That's okay. Funny. The, so true. The, those of you the, those of you who are in the, the networking world i will just say that most uh, everything nowadays runs on tcp ip i mean that's that's where you get your ip addresses so and many. things like that but ipx spx was a proprietary network for i think it was novell oh, who yeah. ran ipx spx and it was a totally different way of doing things uh, just to run your internal network so yeah you had so to find much. out first what how you were running in your in your internal network exactly. which is always fun so much in the back end to figure out you i was i'm actually reading this book right now and it's talking about video games through the years uh since the, you know the 30s or 20s or whatever now that i'm learning but it's talking about how much was involved in these big room full of you know rooms full of computers and then the personal pc and all that stuff how it's changed so i i definitely agree it's still in the 80s and 90s and doing uh you know 56k bod modems and trying to play this game without your mom picking up the phone is great so uh for me well i was in co uh, hold on i think you know what i did i think i have my headset up backwards uh, so i was know, just talking about it of course why would i why would i have my headset going <laughs> uh, in the correct direction uh -huh. we were just talking about uh -huh. this before we're just the show started it. um mm -hmm. when i was in college at purdue this was the first game that i played on we, we had just gotten the they called it the ethernet uh, mm -hmm. We had our, our, our LAN put in, in our dorm rooms, yeah. and this was the game that a lot of, uh, all of us played on. Uh, not StarCraft 2, StarCraft 1, but funny yeah. enough, and I and it's so funny, I still have this here on my desk, and I'm going to show this really no. quickly up on camera. Yeah. I stood in line 
to buy StarCraft II when it came out at midnight. Oh, wow. Okay, there was no downloading it, none of that. Uh -huh. I still have here in my desk. Look at that. I even still have. That's great. I think I had that somewhere too. Yeah, I no, still I have this in the in the top drawer of my desk. And people are like, wow. oh, let's get the code. Yeah, you don't need that anymore. <laughs> but yeah, that was all the that was all the security you needed uh -huh. right there uh, to so cool. pirate non pirate a game. But um, I even have. Oh, look at this. This mm -hmm. even came in. Are you ready for this? This yeah. came in the package, and I still have some left over today. They they gave you a pad of paper and yeah. I have some names written on it, but uh -huh. they gave you a pad of paper in there uh, from Blizzard, so I uh -huh. still have that in here. So yeah, taking notes. Uh, there was a lot of taking notes playing video games uh, back in the. I played oh, yeah. this, like Sherlock Holmes games. I had to take a ton of notes, and able to make it through. And there was like a a newspaper in the the box that you had to read through and find hints. I mean, this is even, this is a little bit past text based games, but still that, I'm, that's nothing compared to text based games. Gosh. Oh, <laughs> well, go back to Carmen San Diego. Oh my gosh. Like, you had to have the Love, whole Oh, you're right. You had a CIA, they gave you like mm -hmm. the CIA world <laughs> factbook and were like, yeah. go find yes. all these odd. And I'll tell you what, man, mm -hmm. first of all, the game was great. Yeah. Second of all, I am a nerd for those kind of statistics anyway. So, yeah, it was... Uh, oh, you removed me from the Well, party. I don't know if we can play 1v1. I'm trying to figure out how to play 1v1. We oh. definitely don't know what we're doing here. Uh, how do I... Because they were in the party, and it wouldn't yeah. let me start a 1v1. It said you had too many players. So I figured huh. somebody out there... Somebody in the chat. We got Kyle in the chat. Yes, to season two, episode two, two players in 2022. What a coincidence. And Danielle Rooks says, two cool dudes. Hello, everyone. Um, Hi, everybody. I can't, I can't see the chat. I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, at the at the whims of the host here. But. Oh, are you starting us in a game? Well, I, I want to put us in 1v1, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, custom. I'm, custom lobby, right? Oh, uh, see, I've got, I'm going up against this uncle. You're not Uncle Sam, are you? No, I'm Yo, Mr. Yeah. Bubba. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you hit start or something. This oh, I didn't. Somebody else did. Hold on a second. I'm gonna. <laughs> Woo, we're gonna figure we this are, out. Right we're, we got this. So maybe if I go to custom, let me try that. Let's try invite to party. All right, hold up. I'm uh, gonna have to uh, end. Take, it's all good. Yeah. All right. Here we go. All right, so mm. I'm create go lobby. I knew there's something like this. What? <laughs> we are having we, this is great you guys what a great start for starcraft 2 right here we don't even know what look, we're doing i have never uh, look i've always espoused and evangelized about how wonderful esports is <laughs> all the great things that comes about it do i know all the ins and outs of every game no i don't uh all right so i am accepting a party okay. there you go I, party. and now it says i'm entering lobby i'm trying to Oh, okay, okay. We're, did you see a private lobby thing pop up? If you go to click or, on... Uh, no, I have one popped up just now, and it shows you in there as Team 2, blue. Uh, I don't know why. Um, what? Uh, think public? Um, <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> all right, uh, party. Oh, yeah, you've got us in, like, a... That's the all chat, so let's go to our... Okay, uh, so lobby... It says there 2000 atmosphere LE at the top. Hey, hey, there I am. There, okay, great. Um, okay. Got our lobby. Now, do you do you see... So I show that I can choose Terran or Zerg or Protoss or Random. Do you have that option to choose stuff yet? Which one are you at? Co-op uh, versus? 2000. Uh, go to custom. Custom. There we go. Custom and then uh, return to lobby. So we're in maybe at the bottom... There's uh, 2,000 Atmospheres LE. Is that what it's called? <laughs> I don't, that's the lobby it created for me. How do I add so you? There's lobby that? one, lobby two. Yeah, see, we got... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was so good. So I'm on custom me melee. Custom melee. Okay. Okay, me and then 2,000. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, and did you double click or maybe at the bottom... I see the 2000 Atmospheres LE. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know what this means. Uh, but I'm able to get to a selection site. 
Do you, are you okay being Terran uh, right now? Uh, I actually I prefer Terran. Yeah, that's fine. okay. Good. Okay, I'll do I'll do Terran as well. Okay. So I don't remember anything. I'm gonna just start the game and see what happens. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> We're finally we playing this. some StarCraft 2 here on Invite Sent Season 2 with James O'Hagan, and we'll see if it works. Well, you've been the party leader, so mm -hmm. we've got this. we got this. Hey, look at this. All right. I'm blue, you're red. Uh, All right. Uh, let's do this. Okay, so big, big thing here is definitely creating, getting minerals first. That's the big deal. Okay, so while, while we're doing this, I'm going to ask you hard questions. Take me back to young James, little James, and... Like, what you played when you were a kid. Bad news. Ooh. Um, for me, it was, there was not a whole heck of a ah, lot of video games, actually, me. in my house. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately. Job, uh, my father being the rocket scientist boss. and my mother being the engineer, or, God. My father being the rocket scientist and my mother being the artist, uh -huh. not the engineer. Um, there was a lot of... A more hands-on stuff, a lot of playing outside, yep. things like that. Good. Um, Go ahead. All right, let's see. I gotta build a supply <laughs> depot here. I gotta. We gotta. Oh, I shouldn't tell you what I'm building. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, I need to build a supply depot too. Thank you. I I almost I remembered my my commands actually B to get and build. That was sad that I remember that, but I guess great. So I know that this game is is one of the more popular ones in. Uh, in uh, South Korea, and they always was the story that if a war broke out between North and South Korea, if, if South Korea could get the build order right, it would be the most efficient war ever fought. Yeah. They just got to get the build order right. <laughs> the, the build order, this is correct. So yeah. you w do you had these parents that were... That, my the parents were... Yeah. yeah. My, my parents were, were not... Well... We finally did get a computer in 1989, and it had two dual floppy drives, no hard drive, dual oh. floppy drives. But my father expected me to read the entire uh, DOS manual, which I did. <laughs> so I'm really good at doing things DOS. I can um, absolutely, you know, do DOS command, command line. And I mean, this manual, I mean, you talk about the CIA world manual that tells you all the, uh -huh. the facts and figures. Reading a DOS manual is, you know, all you really needed to learn how to do is to how to format a disk and copy uh -huh. and move move files. But uh, yeah, it was certainly not uh, a fun read. But I got it done, and and that was kind of my start for yeah, uh, video gaming. And my friend Aaron, my friend Aaron, uh, sure down the street, he was my Twitch channel. So I'd go over okay. to Aaron's house. Yeah, I'd go to Aaron's house and we would, uh, he would set up and we'd play video games and he had all the systems, but I was always, again, always terrible. So, oh, hey, look, what are you doing here? <laughs> There's my guy. Where's my guy? <laughs> yeah. I remember this tactic. Come on. Yes. Go, 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 go. Yeah, go, you're no fun, man. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> Look, I got three health. Way All to go. Oh, no, he's dead. Now attack. you have no health. <laughs> West Bird says StarCraft, he remembers the memories. Yes, oh, it's uh, there is a ton of them, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, now I know which way you like to, to get down here. So. <laughs> it was just remembering... Uh, something. See, I don't remember. I'm just right now struggling trying to answer. You see, you're yeah. filling me with questions. This is, this is and I'm trying to answer is. your questions, and I can't answer your questions with uh, with all this uh, stuff I'm trying to do. Uh, this is this is the show. This is the show is uh, um, playing games while answering questions for sure. Yes, I feel at an unfair advantage. <laughs> Well, I just built my factory that might run into a wall, so I don't even know if my stuff will come out. So, I mean, I didn't build a factory. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Here. And um, what, what were you playing when you were in a teenager? Um. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> a lot of Leisure Suit Larry. So, oh yeah, Sierra. Baby. Okay, look for those of you who don't know what Leisure Suit Larry. It is completely mm -hmm. non-PC appropriate yes, it's very, today. Okay, it was rough. a very sexist, 
Um, but as a teenage boy in the late eighties, <laughs> early nineties, it was, Oh, we got into leisure suit Larry. Oh, and they, 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 they their, um, way to keep young kids from playing that game mm-hmm. was to literally have us try to answer questions from like the fifties, you know, it's yeah. like, Oh, who was the first, you know, uh, who was the first, uh, host of the tonight show well it was jack parr but no, okay. nobody knows that right i mean yeah I'm, uh, yeah yeah <laughs> heck i don't think a lot of people in the 50s and 60s even knew that so yeah yeah um okay ooh, there we go yeah, i need one of those okay <laughs> i don't know how to, why can't i add a tech uh, uh lab oh i don't need to have anything building at the time that's where it is man there's so many little things you have to remember what to do. I know I'm stressing out. Oh look, there's fish here. Uh, I am completely <laughs> stressing out right now. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I've got I got CSV guys or C SCV guys not doing anything over here. Come on. Yeah, we are. So definitely, Leisure Suit. We, I I love Sierra games, man. Sierra games, Police Quest, uh, oh, King's Quest. Yeah, King's, I love those games, man. Complete. King's those Quest were, was fantastic. That's my favorites. Yeah. And people don't know what they are. And I'm like, I absolutely love them. Minerals. Uh, I found you. Oh, hello. I got a few uh, enemies. Or a few. Hello. Yeah. I feel you. All right. Um, uh, oh, I build. need things. How do I do this? <laughs> Let's see. I need to. Yes, I am. I am. I'm lost. All right. Hotkeys. 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 So you're all about the hotkeys, and I'm yeah. just right now just a total dumb. Building supply depots like it's nobody's business. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to build more of those. <laughs> oh. Uh, so yes, King uh, Danielle Rourke love King's Quest as well. She says it's awesome. I I I I, can pl- I play those just maybe every couple of years or every couple, yeah years. I jump back into those games. They're so much fun. Well, it's so hard to believe that Sierra Games became the the big, you know, ugly entity that is EA. I'm not gonna say ugly, but you know what I mean. It's like oh, EA owns them. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. Wow, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. But, so, but, uh, but yeah, it was just a husband wife company that started uh-huh. off together, and yeah, and I think EA, I think EA owns Sierra Games. They own that's all cool. the the intellectual property for it. I'm sure somebody will correct us on that mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. do a quick search. Yeah. Anybody in the chat, let us know who owns Sierra Games. Uh, so my dad, because my dad worked at Radio Shack, it was all about Sierra and uh, Tandy and IBM. And so there was just Command a ton of... Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I thought, oh, no, you, were attacking. Oh, I thought you were attacking me. <laughs> I'm no. Just, I'm so Not I'm yet. So, so, I'm so dumb. That's what I meant to do. Oh, there, there you go. go. Thanks. Oh, yeah, come on yeah. now. Oh, I could. You already knew spot. where I was. Well, I know that was dumb. I should have saw your. <laughs> uh, okay, so in college, is there a different game you played in college, or what? What did you? Uh, you you know, I also want to talk about rugby. You know, I also want to talk about rugby. I want to talk about little orders? little Jimmy who who played sports. I want to know about. Well, first sports. it was Big Jimmy. So Big Jimmy in high school was almost three hundred pounds, and then. Uh, got into marching band. All right. And uh, marching band was definitely something for me that was a huge, uh, a huge part of my life. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, what? Oh, sh- crap. How- Boy, that mineral field went away really quickly. Oh, is yours gone already? Wow, you must have yeah. a lot of dudes because mine's not gone. You must have made a lot of uh, drone CSV guys. No, nothing yet. But yeah, marching band was a huge part. And then rugby, of course. Um, became and still is to this day it still has a, a part in and a, and a place in my life though again mm-hmm. the, the pandemic really kind of ended things um as far as a rugby career goes um and that's mo- mainly because uh, i got a lot out of shape so oh yeah yeah i'm a lot out of shape mm-hmm. so yeah if i tried to play rugby right now it would not be a good thing depleted um, but it, I would say that it's because of things like rugby and it's things like marching band 
why I think it's so important for kids to have something for them in school. Um, that's why when I look at esports and I see how um, kids are uh, kids are kids are taking to it, and yeah. you know it hurts me to see companies like Blizzard, as we're sitting here playing a Blizzard mm -hmm. game right now, mm -hmm. really come down hard. Again, we we fought this battle against Riot two years ago to. Uh, make sure that kids had access, equal access to games and game titles. I mean, we weren't making any money from it, so it wasn't like it was right. you know, they were losing anything. But in the case now, we see that, um, you know, Riot came around and corrected themselves within two years, and now we have to fight the same battle again with Blizzard for very similar reasons. It's, it's so hard to, uh, again, see our kids having to deal with these things over and over again and it's because of adult decisions uh yeah so understood yeah uh, let's see. hey hey I got i'm allowed to look you i got look, nothing I, I, I got i got nothing going on over there yeah it's just just nothing <laughs> you you should have picked a different spot this better be good <laughs> good? well i didn't get to pick the spot remember they just kind of gave us this ah. oh did they Oh. Yeah. Mineral field. Depleted. Yeah, they kind of uh, just. Go ahead. How do I? There we go. I remember some of these techniques. Yeah. See, you and I are both struggling here. Mineral That's why we're like, uh, what do we do? Uh. So okay. So we have your growing up. You had different games, but you also. So when did you play sports? When did you start playing sports? Um, I was involved in um, high school football. I did track and field. I always wanted to be a really good. I really wanted to play baseball. Baseball has always been a passion of mine. Um, but baseball and I, uh, it, it doesn't help that I can strike out a lot. Okay. So, yeah, I could hit. I could hit for power, but I struck out a ton. So, oh, um, out of depots, dang. Oh, gotta build those supply depots. <laughs> I know. Sorry, I'm just trying to. So yeah, baseball. Baseball though is is still to this day is one of my favorite things. I love going. Mm -hmm. I know people's like, oh, baseball is boring. I call it like it's like a companion sport. You can sit mm -hmm. there. You can kind of keep up with it. You can tune out for a little bit. Um, yeah. I just find baseball to be uh, just a ton of. Just like it's summer to me. Yeah. So. And I know you live in uh, living in Kansas City area. Mm -hmm. You've got yeah. obviously the Royals, and I've been to Royal Stadium many times, and I love oh, it. Nice. Yes, uh, it is very nice here. Um, uh, there's there's a lot of loyalty that now. Ooh, hey, am I getting attacked? Hey, yeah. sorry, you going yeah, down? This is this is this is not going well. Let's just say. So, how, you have you built a lot of stuff or not? Do you know? How you doing? Uh, me, I'm great. Doing uh, fabulous. How are we doing? Okay. Well, I just wanted to, I just wanted to see how it was. I, I mean, let me, I guess I could find out here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a migraine. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you go. You go ahead and have fun with this here. I'm just gonna uh, hang back oh, no. and let you just tear this base apart where are all your where's all your weapons i i sent them all to you oh no no you didn't no i mean I, they're they're not oh the ones you no, just you sent us like i gotta trash the base dude you got it you, you got it covered <laughs> yes, Go for it. i could surrender but that's i don't like it when people surrender it's like no no i built this massive <laughs> army i want to like just run ragged that's fine. oh this is great okay sorry um Somebody's asking if it's Archon mode. I don't know what that is. Um, Danielle says, anyone remember Heroes of Might and Magic? Vampires were my jam, even though they made... Heroes of Might bleh, and Magic. Noise. Yeah, that sounds no so familiar. Yeah. All right, so you got... See, you see what I build here? You got to build. All right? I'm, I know I got to build, but dude, again, I'm trying to answer <laughs> questions. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> and I, I, I'm having a hard time multitasking. <laughs> so, how long, how long, um, 
How long did you play? How long did you play rugby? Oh, uh, I started rugby uh, my freshman year of college, mm -hmm. so I was eighteen years old. Yeah, and, and I have played. I played up until twenty nineteen. So let's see, it's ninety three to twenty nineteen. Not twenty twenty. We'll say I started. I started doing training for twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. um, just to make it easy, twenty seven years. Wow. I only have a few scars. My fingers. Only this one is the not straight one right here. Because <laughs> yeah. um, I played a position that required, mm -hmm. I, I played what's called second row lock. So it required me to hold on to a guy and, mm -hmm. and like everything was fingertips and hand strength and then just quads and, and hamstrings. So, oh, yes. I think this time, oh, I can only. I think I, I've selected team mode to see if we can do it together. Oh, since right. I don't, I don't know. I just, I'm trying it. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm down with not getting my butt kicked repeatedly. <laughs> I, I, I'll play whatever. I, I, uh, I don't, I don't remember somebody's whatever this Archon mode is. I have no idea what it is, but it's looking. I guess it's looking for us. For us. see again, Starcraft, IPX SPX or TCP IP. <laughs> Set up your network and let's go. You know what was great about that game too? I gotta mm -hmm. say too. Um, I, I know I shouldn't have promoted the idea of just copyright violation, but that was the game that I first started my gaming club with in uh, 1999. Okay. And I taught middle school kids how to network computers together, how to rebuild uh, 46 wow. computers. So we, we figured out how to rebuild. They had, they had just upgraded to Pentium. So they had all these 486 computers, which Starcraft runs perfectly fine 486. on. Yeah, 486s. And we set up like 15 of them. Mm -hmm. And we we cut our own cable. We, I mean, we, had, we, we didn't have any network cables, so we had to cut our own and learn how to do that. I mean, it was... It, it wasn't just us playing games, just like how esports shouldn't be about us just playing games. It was all the other things. And then there were kids just hanging out in the room who just wanted to hang out. I mean, you know, it's it's amazing how people really want to have these experiences be esports. And sometimes just the gaming club is exactly what a lot of people only need. Yeah, 100%. Um, 100%. Yeah. So let's see. Are we uh, 486? I don't know if it's gonna let us. Uh, maybe I don't know if we could. I'd rather just play. How do we play AI? Two v two. Oh, we can. Ooh, I'm gonna try. Yeah. That. Let's do that. <laughs> okay. So it says we own we we Archon is what uh, uh madcoat.com and they're saying. Can I get a quick intro to the show? I just hey, this is invite sent season two. We play video games, interview people, and James O'Hagan here is an expert. In the Scholastic esports space, as well, but as not in how sports. to set this game. <laughs> uh, okay, so you said let's pick a game, and I said, you know what, StarCraft has always had a, a soft spot in my heart. It's just I haven't played it in forever. Mm -hmm. So, and I, and remember, I said let's play StarCraft one, and you're like, yeah, let's play StarCraft two. I'm like, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> so I think so. What I heard is Archon lets us control the same army. Let's do two V AI. Let's just we each have our own little color. I think. Okay. Ooh, I can I be think... a Zerg. Ooh. Not that it's yeah, going to make me any better. <laughs> oh, Brian Kelly says, rugby and StarCraft. Got to let my wife know I'm going to be late for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian. This rugby lover over there. Awesome. Brian is a Brian is definitely a rugby fan. Yes, he is. And a gamer. And, uh, yeah, always very supportive of very much. at least things posted into the ether of the internet all right let's see what we got here okay, okay we're right so next to each I think, other so i'm green i'm green yep i am okay. no okay. i'm green you're wait red no I, i'm next to you. you're blue okay maybe we have different colors i'm on the left you're okay. on the right yes okay i'm i'm doing yes 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 i'm the <clears throat> who am i what am i uh the what are these guys are the what is taryn yeah, there we go that's yeah. the word i'm looking yes. for Yes, I'm Taryn and you're Zerg. This will be fun. This will be cool. And so the enemy's on the other corner. Spawn more overlords. <laughs> I'm spawning overlords. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Kyle's saying in the chat. Yes. more. Oh, more you need more overlords. You need more supply depots. What's that's definitely on? it. 
<clears throat> okay. So we've got rugby Not enough. Uh, yep. in your history and gaming on a 486 chips. The, mm -hmm. I remember like I remember the conversations around 486, 586 and being videos. like, oh my gosh, you're getting a 486 computer? Holy crap, dude, you're so rich. <laughs> <laughs> it's so powerful. <laughs> my first like, college computer was a 286. Oh so, my gosh! Yeah, yeah, nothing. I remember. Yeah, Pentium came out. I was like, they don't number it anymore. So oh now, yeah. Now it's a name. Oh, good old days. Such such boomer lifestyle we have here of uh, remembering the 90s. Okay, now, <clears throat> what got you into teaching? Oh, um, well, I went to Purdue as a chemistry major. I was re I was really really good in uh, high school chemistry. That mm -hmm. was I could do that stuff in my sleep, and yeah. uh, found out that I I was so good I actually got a grant from the Department of Defense to work in analytical chemistry at San Jose State right. during yeah. my uh, between my junior and senior year. So I was really committed to becoming a chemistry major, and uh, went to Purdue and found out that I hated everything about it. So yeah, it was, it was, uh, so I, I, I decided to focus on, I had, two, so my first year of my sophomore year, my, my parents probably hated this. I had 12 credit hours mm -hmm. of classes, four of them in chemistry, which was my major three in calculus, three in physics and two in marching band. That's 10, right? Yeah, yeah. that's 10. Yeah. That's 12. That's 12. Um, I, I got a D in chemistry. I failed physics spectacularly mm -hmm. and i got an f in calculus semester two so um i was uh hold on i'm trying to build things so i uh, <laughs> so it was it was really trying to figure out what i wanted to do uh, i did have a family of educators and i figured well i i will become an educator okay so yep yeah, it it became oh, i need a spawning pool yes okay I'm going to need another spawning pool here soon. Yeah. So it's, um, those are things though that, uh, you know, you kind of just like, oh yeah, I'll become a, uh, a teacher. Mm -hmm. Well, it was actually, it was really, um, powerful. Um, I really enjoy being a teacher. Uh, I've been an educator for over 23 years. Um, but you know, all good things sometimes must come to an end. I'm actually leaving the world of education. What? Um, in I six, guess I didn't. Yep, big reveal. Six days. I, I'm i actually uh, in conversations right now about my next steps. Yeah? At, and so no, I don't have anything to reveal. So hey. no, you don't, get, you don't get a big reveal or anything but like am that. I, like, I didn't see this on social. Maybe I missed it. I have kept that actually pretty quiet because what? I didn't. Yeah. Way to go. I just wanted to um, make sure that I had all everything covered before I did because it, there's a lot of people leaving education right yes, now. It, it is great incredibly exodus. hard. Yes. There's so there's a lot of people leaving, and I didn't want to. Um, I know what it's such a good thing to have. Uh, Esports is a thing I can do and be a part of mm -hmm. but it's also important too to know that there are still great teachers out there trying to do great things and uh, i just didn't want to make anything difficult for my people um, who i work with so yeah wow yeah so in the next couple of days here you'll see something and i'm you'll you'll see where i'll be going next so is this like this was announced officially here on in the public on the show is this what we're saying yeah Oh and I'm going gosh. somewhere else. Yep. Yes, man. Well, that's. I'm glad for you and your next steps, and I'm excited for you. Um, what? What? Yeah. I mean, this is great. I mean, I know it's hard to step away from education, but yes, a great yeah. exodus is definitely happening, and uh, it's rough on a lot of people. Yeah. So, uh, but again, my, my friends have been in incredibly supportive, um, in this way, who I have shared this with, 
And I will say too that you know, there's a lot of really great people in the private space. And I know as an educator, I've been, I've pushed a lot on a lot of people, okay? Because I just want it to be the best experience that we can possibly have for kids. And I know it doesn't always come off as polite, if you will, but I, again, as an educator, my role was not be, to be polite. My role was to be an advocate for children. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so as I've learned and met a lot of great people in this space, um, it has been really important to realize that um, oh, I'm building something um, <laughs> that not everybody's out here just to make money and, and mm. screw everybody over. OK, um, there like I said, there are definitely people out there who, who really want to make sure that uh, what, what is being done for kids, the experience that you're trying to provide kids, they're only trying to, most of them are trying to do things and do it the right way. Yeah. And and that's something that I admire. Uh, you know, I, I will say, for example, I will give a perfect example. HSEL was a company that I did not always see eye to eye early on. Um, I had a few uh, interesting conversations, we shall say, with Mason and Charlie and them. Yeah. But uh, I will say the turning point for a lot of us came at the NACAD conference mm. in in Iowa recently, where yeah. we had League Spot, we had Vanta, we had Leak OS, we had HSEL, we had uh, Group, yes, all these people getting around a table, hanging around and learning about each other and finding out that, hey, yeah, that we can all be really supportive of each other and, and take care of each other and not have oh, somebody attacking. Yeah, I got him. Okay. <laughs> I've got some uh, Zerglings here I can send over to just kind of hang out. It's okay. Uh, I built a second base just so I could have more. But yeah, 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 yeah thank you. Is that you? Nice job. That was, that's Let's go. Fine. Well, this is fun. I've never really done that style Fuel before. Field depleted. Yes, yeah. I agree. NACAD was probably the best. I told Jay, like, that was the best event I've been to ever. Um, yeah. Because of what, what, we, what we're able to accomplish. What we're all able to accomplish. It was great. Yeah, it, it's. Uh, I think those things are so important too for people. Um, it's important for us to, again, continue those conversations. Um, yeah. Look at their base. Gosh, do you get any easy questions, or am I just going into? <laughs> uh, look, I just put their base. The, so they've got Terran and Zerg as well, and they've okay. got double bases going on. Uh, I think this is the only entrance, by the way, is right there. So if we, if we put our you got another spot for your base down here if you want to build a second base yeah. where your guys are playing. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, we, I, I think, um, I, so here's Brian, I agree with what Brian Kelly says, well earned after 30 years to step out of education. And 23, I, 23, 23, not oh 30. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God, if I was 30 years, I would have just made it to retirement. 20 plus years. I would have 20 plus yeah. years. Maybe it was a typo. Yeah. Uh, Wes Bird does that. Does ask, did you ever play Warcraft 2 or Starcraft 1 over Kali, an app that allowed you to network with other players over dial-up? I didn't do Kali. No. Uh, but I ran a bulletin board through dial-up. That was a lot of fun. Those are the days. No, honestly, I never, I never uh, did that. Um, I didn't do di too much dial-up gaming. I did do a lot of AOL chat room stuff though. Oh yeah. Day. <laughs> um, and the other thing that I would do too is again being a huge baseball nerd. One of the games that I really loved was um, uh, Hardball, the Hardball series. Oh right. So, so what what really got me about the Hardball series was that you eventually you could do, um, you could import your own stats. So I would go yeah, digging yeah. into baseball almanacs and build teams. And then post those teams up to the message board. So are we getting attacked? Yeah, he's just, just, he's just sneaking in. Look at stuff. He's gone now. I just built another hatchery, so. Yeah, he's just sneaking in. I need I need to build more guys here. <laughs> we, need to, we need to build a lot more people. <laughs> we need to build a lot of things. I, I think yes. I got our defenses kind of set up. But, okay. But, uh... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I forget all these little these little nuances. Yeah, I've really forgotten all of mm -hmm. this now. 
Uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay. Now, the... Armed and ready. When it comes to, um... You were talking about something else where I dropped in a world crowd. Oh, it was just about 30 years. Yes, 20 plus years, Brian. Yeah, is what 20, plus, 20 plus. 20 plus. Yes. And... Golly. This is this is a lot of work. Playing um playing FPS is way easier, I do agree. Yeah, we should have done I don't know, maybe we should have done Oregon Trail or something. I, <laughs> I literally that book I've been reading okay. actually is talking okay. it's it's sixty four sixty four games that changed the video game space or something, I can't remember what it's called, but um I really enjoyed it. Uh, I need tanks. I wanna make some tanks. Um, okay, so let's see how you're doing over here. You got, I don't even know, I don't, I don't remember how Zerg works. Do you have, do you have any? Zerg is just like, uh, have... they, they, they produce very quickly, but they're not very powerful, but you basically just have to overwhelm. Do you have some, okay, you have, you have some blue guys right here. The Yeah, I have them sitting in the, the ground dudes. so they okay, can, just, so they can pop up and. I see, okay. Ah, you know, we're doing good. fun yeah. stuff. <laughs> oh, gotcha, ah. gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I will keep building our. I'm gonna put a tower up because if they got a Zerg, they're gonna have Zergs come over and fly, and try to attack. Uh, I definitely need some more Overlords. I can yeah, help I'll put, with that. I'm putting some. Okay. I'm putting a couple towers up. Some. That's a turret. That's yeah, a building turret. Uh, I can't build on your stuff. That's kind of stinks. Eh. Oh, oh, it won't let me. Oh, that's okay. I'll do it down here. Oh, they're coming for that door. Oh, there they come. Yeah, as soon as I try to build it. Ah. Shoot the dude, shoot the dude. I got him. They're trash. They're weak. I'm better than you. So I'm putting up a turret right out there. That'll be good. Yeah. Do, do we know where their base is? Because I can just yeah, go it's send in the corner. these guys. It's in, in the which top, left, top left corner. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're going to send some I'm just going to pop some of these yeah, guys let's, out. Let's, learn, the let's see where they are. Let's learn about what oh, they wait. are. Our allies are being Oh, there's attacked. some just sitting right there. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm oh coming. that's you. Oh. Never mind. No, no, no. That's not me. Why I'm coming. Not there, there, I'll come. Oh. There we go. They got flying guys now. Yeah. So that's why I put these turrets up. Yeah. I'm going to oh. move my guys. Just kind of plop them in the middle there. I'm going to I'm gonna put my guys right there then. Yes, so we sir. know. I'll build a couple more turrets. Um, I need to get some CSVs to fixing the turrets. Bad news. Uh -huh. I just yeah, need to learn here. how to build more things. Yep. Oh my! This this is this is good. This is this is a little more difficult. Um, but we got this, this. is a lot more difficult. <laughs> I'll get some I get some turrets out or some uh, tanks out. That'll, that'll help us. I uh, I hotkey my guys so I I do control one to all my. Um, I I hover over all my guys and I select mm -hmm. them all and I do control one so I can. Just hit one and it selects them for me. That is an option if you want to use that. I can't. I can't process things right now. I'm so stressed out. Uh, well, we we got 15 minutes more here of this fun invite sit plan with James O'Hagan. Hey. Now all I know is is I just got to go back and and play some more somewhere else along the way. Let's see. Field uh, depleted. They got. Oh, they've got a lot of stuff over there. Okay, okay. Mineral field depleted. Oh, mineral field depleted. Oh, move this bad boy mineral then. Mineral field depleted. I'm getting all of my hives and everything. Uh, can I move my... Wait, can I fly my guy up? There we go. Mineral field depleted. I'm going to fly my base over to the other one. And put a new base in. What's going on? Oh, you know what? Do I have medics in this... You should, yeah. Uh, I don't see. Maybe I gotta build a certain thing. I don't remember. I have medics. Um. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, get gotta turret. be so many people. Get them turret. I hope, <laughs> I hope people are just not making fun of us. <laughs> no, they're good. They're good. They, they probably have no idea what's going on. Oh man, he he put a thing on. How do I take this thing off? Oh yeah, he got you with a. Uh, what is that? He got you with a zombie. Uh, how do I do? I destroy it? What do I do? I think you're. I think you're hosed. Why not? Hi, Karumba. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, All right. Sure. Field depleted. 
That was scary. Uh, so what do you see? What do you see happening? We got the last 15 minutes here. What do you see the Scholastic Esports doing in the next five years? What, do you, what does it you need know, to do? And what do you see? I, I, I honestly think there's going to be a lot less maybe esports, and I think a lot more gaming club um, aspects. Mm -hmm. I think especially as groups like Blizzard are really starting to try to hammer on again, trying to do the rioting and. Field yeah, it, I, I really just, I think you're going to start to see more AAA titles kind of going by the wayside and people being able to pick their own things. Um, I really believe that uh, Knockout City, I mm. think, is primed mm. for a jump here Best in the next couple of years, exhausted. especially as the company yeah. I think is going to make it free to play. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I've heard that. Additional support yeah. But you know the Blizzard thing. You know we only can hope and wait on what the heck is happening with um, with Microsoft mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. We're, we're kind of stuck mm -hmm. waiting on that. So oh, somebody's bombing me. Oh, that's Protoss. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they got Protoss. Oh, geez. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're not. Coming. We're we're. we're in oh trouble. my. Yeah, we. Oh no, they're just owning me. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna send in some of these guys here and Where's my tanks? Tanks move! What are you doing? Get in there and fight. Oh okay, I did pretty good. Yeah, well. I did pretty we'll good. See. All right, all right, all right. So I need to I need to be out here a little more, it looks like. I'm sending in some hydralisks in to see what we've got. Yeah, I see. Nice. Ooh, nice. <laughs> oh dang they're really just they jacking are, me up. What, what level did i put it on oh my gosh yeah they, they kind of messed me up there okay i gotta i gotta build i gotta build where's my stuff i'm just sending in things hey, is that there's oh they, they, they're they built they put one of the dudes back here um a flying dude I a have flying no, dude <laughs> i have no <laughs> I have no uh, turrets way back there. Uh, where is he? <laughs> we are so <laughs> we're so good at this game. We're the best. We're the greatest. Um, hey, Karen, how are you doing, Karen? Uh, West does love a knockout city. Oh, well, we are in we are in such doo doo, man. <laughs> That's okay. I I got all these defenses. I need to. I need to build something I don't have. I need to build. I need to build Our something stronger, better. Oh no, you're getting you're getting hit. Yeah, I, I oh, sent in. Way. I sent in a bunch of zerglings. We hear you. Man in the rear with the gear. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, I need some more. I've depleted that one. I need. Additional mm. supply depots. Oh, I need more supply depots. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, we're oh, we're doing so good. No, I would really. Uh, okay, that's building. I, I need to build higher, better engineering bay and stuff right now. That'll help us a little bit. I think I I've got the defensive part down. I think we're good on the defensive as long as I get some more turrets up. Let's oh, see. My gosh. I need to... Karen, I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for being here. Have you met Hello, Karen? Karen. Uh, Kiona Smith? I think so. Mm -hmm. She has put together one of the most extensive list of college esport programs that anybody has. Um, oh! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's done an amazing job with it. All her own research. Her son is... A, um, what team did your son... Uh, Northwood? Is that where he's playing, uh, Karen? He got accepted to Northwood on uh, scholarship. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. Uh, okay, I need to build. I need to build something I don't have. Uh, sensor tower. Let's do that. Sensor tower. Required. That's good. Oh my gosh, this map is so huge, right now. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, I could build some ships. Hey, Chris. Chris Bukowski from Cope. How are you, sir? Thank you, sir, for being here. Oh, hey, Cope. Yeah. Chris from Cope. <laughs> oh, I need. I needed to build some. These floating guys, but I also need. These floaty guys. I need oh, more supply depots. Of course, I'm out of those. Supply oh no. Oh, oh, you took care of that. Yeah, yeah. 
I got a base going in over here. Armed and ready. I'm trying to get. Oh, they got my sensor tower. Oh, so it's a, the medic is the ship, the flying ship. I forgot. That's what it is. Oh, That's see, I'm thinking StarCraft are. One. I forgot. So I got. So this is why I'm building a star base or star, whatever it's called. I almost star called StarCraft. What is it called? We sound, we sound, so, we sound so terrible right We're now. We're so good at this game. Uh, what are you guys playing? Oh, totally noobing it on StarCraft Two. Uh, oh, jeez. Maybe somebody like Space Ghost is gonna walk in and see this, and she's just gonna turn around and leave. And just be like, "You guys can just stop now." Oh, I have all these dudes not doing anything. Come on! All right, got this. This is. Uh, oh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to mount an attack here soon. So. Oh, I've got. You... I've got a bunch of. If you lock off to the left, there's a bunch of flying. Ooh, nice. Things. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm gonna build some medics. Maybe. There we go. And I need. Uh, I. I need to build another base. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed. We're out of gas. I don't even know what is today's date. I can't build here. Oh my I can't gosh. Build here. Well, uh, okay. Oh, thanks for the happy birthday, uh, Chris Bukowski. Thank you, sir. That was a fun day. When is your birthday? 40. I turned 40 uh, on Monday. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, last Monday. It was a lot of it was a lot of fun. Congratulations. I'm, I'm happy. Ready for dust off. And I'm still young. That's what I would like to say. <laughs> of course. So I got I got a base, got a group of guys here ready to go, sitting around some turrets. I need gas. <clears throat> yeah, there's a few more. Yeah, the where you're running right now, over um, to your left, there's a gas. Uh, some ones not used. No, I've I got used... it. I just oh. have to oh, put gotcha, a guy there. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ready for dust off. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do this. Um, I think we may. I think we mount an attack here. Okay. Um. Oh shoot! Where did my guys go? Oh, I sent them all over there on accident. Not bad. Not that far, luckily. Uh, there are they building way down here? Left? Is that you? Oh, that's you. Oh, that's nice me. move. I'm gonna come join you with my dudes here. Somehow. Ready for dust off. And how do you get? It's the home button. It is. I forget. All right. Mineral field. Our so we're getting minerals. Okay. Okay. Oh, somebody's I'm attacking coming. me. No. I'm coming. I'm close-ish. See, I got fast guys. Mineral field depleted. Roger that. Destroy this. Destroy this so I can get through. Our allies are being attacked. Oh no. You can't destroy this thing. Attack. Attack it. How do I attack? There we go. There we go. I gotta get through this thing to help you. <laughs> Our allies. All right. So oh, is that their Terrans. base? Is that their base right there? You got it. That's their base. Yeah, I'm going in. I'm gonna keep. Go I'm gonna it. destroy this base. I'm getting this base right here. I'm going to. Gosh, I never thought I'd need more gas. <laughs> Are you going for their base? Yeah. All right. By the numbers, boys. I'm Pick sending. Some more guys here. What's that? You All right, destroyed that orders? base. Sure. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna chill out here. I feel you. Oh, they got another base down here. Oh shoot! Right there. I got another base. Yeah, it's just a, it's just for. It's just one of those. Nice. Don't wanna get backdoored here. All right, I'm gonna chill here for a minute. I'm gonna rally, re up my. Oh no, can't find. All right, do 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 do. We might actually win this one. I'm gonna make some Thors. Yeah, I think we're doing good. Uh, I got all these guys just hanging out here. All right, I made another round of dudes. 
I'll let these guys hang out for a minute. Um, <laughs> uh, one of my guys is going to the base. They're already nice. in. Nice. You want a piece of me, boy? Uh, all right, all right. Focus. What I need to. <laughs> oh, we got this. Okay, I've made. I've made some big Thor guys. Our allies are being attacked. Bring him up here. Yeah, they're scared of me. Oh, they got some big. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, let's go. This is their base. We got this. I'm just going in. Yeah, we got this. They, they, we killed them all. We killed all the defenses. I hope. I'm just gonna sit here, sit here and destroy. All right, I'm gonna hang out right there. Let's see how that goes. Got more guy, more, more, more dudes coming in. Yeah, we're doing it. We got, we got these chumps. Ooh. All right, I think we destroyed. I think hopefully. We we win. I'm on it. We win these. The the medics were great. Did a good job. Usually, <laughs> they, usually they get killed pretty easily. I must. Oh, have there's another a base. Mm, oh, Do they have another one sitting up there. Yeah, there's. You know, I bet you there's some even everywhere else or another place. I mean, you know what's going to be hard about this is the Zerg flying guys that'll probably like fly way over. In a corner, and you can never find them. So I'm oh, I've build, got some of them. So I'm gonna build some Vikings, so that way I can hunt them down. The ships. All right. Let's see if I kill everything over here. This better be good. All right, maybe this. If this is the last. This isn't it. Probably. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, we're about to find out. Maybe they got bases all over. <sighs> so. Oh. We've only got three minutes, so we got to be quick. I have a lot of. Oh, wait. Yeah, they're building more. They're building more here uh, in the middle. Oh, coming. Ah, they're trying to survive. You're going down. You gonna give me orders? Where else have they got people? Good. Let's keep looking. So, Gotta have just wrapped around. Yeah, here's another one. Here's another base. Oh, it's a big base. They're trying their best. Let's go. <laughs> I think I should build some more things. <laughs> this has got to be the end of it. Do you want to accept surrender? Yeah. Mm, yeah. That's right. We got you. Woo. That was that was hard, man. That was hard. That was, oh, you know what's hard difficult. is is trying to have a conversation with you while trying to play this game, being out of practice. <laughs> like 10 years. That was great. Awesome, man. Well, as we wrap up here, give me give me some quick hits, James O'Hagan hits, and um, tell people tell people where they can find you on socials and how they can learn more about what you're doing and stay up to date with your life with yeah. what's happening soon. Yeah, so um, I just put out another podcast episode this last week. I think it's a really good one. Andrew uh, Chish, he's a shoutcaster for the Horblick Rebels and the Wisconsin High School Esports Association. We talked about his path. He loves wrestling. He loves Al Michaels. Those are his mm -hmm. um, big, big uh, influences when it comes to how he, he wants to call matches. And then... Um, yeah, I'm leaving the world of education, but uh, you can still follow me at Jim O'Hagan at, 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 on Twitter. And if you wanted to find me on LinkedIn, I'm at James O'Hagan on LinkedIn. So O'Hagan spelled O apostrophe H-A-G-A-N. So there you go. 
Best well, places was, to find me. That, that, the, then please, if you're out there, please watch what James is doing. Listen in because uh, you'll be highly uh, educated afterwards. Um, and Boy, today was the funnest, inter funnest, most fun, <laughs> the funnest <laughs> interview. I'm like, I hope I made sense. I don't know if I made any sense today, mm -hmm. but I tried. <laughs> no, I, it was a lot of fun because uh, that's what that's what that's why I like doing the show because I literally stole the idea from. Have you seen uh, hot takes or hot ones where they do the no. hot wings? So the guy eats hot wings while he interviews famous people, and you have to like eat hot wings and answer questions, and you're dying. They go up in levels of hotness. As oh yeah, and I saw like some guy didn't make it out of like the first mm -hmm. wing or something. Yeah, right. Yeah, so that was that. That's just how I wanted to do it. I like having All right. Awesome. Well, hey, this this Appreciate got me you. off my game. So you had me <laughs> trying to do multiple things, and I'm glad we played it together at yeah. the end because Same. I was stuck. <laughs> that was good. Awesome, James. Right. I appreciate you, sir. I will catch you later. Thanks for being here, man. All right. Take care, everybody. All right. Stay amazing. See ya. Bye. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. We had a great guest, James O'Hagan. Please definitely follow him on social media. What's going on? There's a ton out there you can learn. Uh, the space is great and big, and it also needs you. And people like James O'Hagan have been helping set the bar. So thank you guys for being here on Invite Sent for our second season, episode two. We'll see you next time. See you later. Varsity Esports Foundation. Founded in December 2018, the Varsity Esports Foundation was created by a group of esports professionals. Our mission is to create an inclusive, safe, and aspirational network of gaming communities for all. The Varsity Esports Foundation is a 501c3 organization established to offer financial assistance to schools and to provide a pipeline for students to reach their potential through esports. We have four foundation goals. One, build a network of inclusive gaming communities. Two, create scholarships for students within these communities. Three, ensure a safe environment for all players. And four, promote gaming literacy across the ecosystem. The foundation has funds for a limited amount of assistance to support schools with league fees and or computer equipment. For more information, please visit us at varsityesportsfoundation.org. Varsity Esports Foundation, a pipeline for students to reach their potential through esports. My name is Christy Kester. As a public educator for the past 24 years, I have watched as interest in esports has exploded in schools across the world. Last fall, I joined the High School Esports League and helped to establish the education department. Since then, we have been working hard to integrate esports into education to create a scholastic gaming experience where students can learn, play, and compete. With our evidence-based STEM.org approved gaming concepts curriculum, schools can offer four credit classes during the school day that help improve chronic absenteeism, student engagement, and mental health. 
As a senior health advisor for High School Esports League and a former ER physician, I see the incredible need for supporting mental health in students in today's schools. In fact, schools that are formidable crossroads where a pervasive and persistent decline in youth mental health now intersects with staff burnout. This has not been a sudden problem, but rather one we've seen over decades. The American Academy of Pediatrics announced in 2019 that one out of three students meets the criteria for generalized anxiety disorder before graduation. And the CDC reaffirmed that between 2009 and 2019, depression increased in adolescents by roughly 40%. The most telltale sign that grabbed all of our hearts was when the Surgeon General announced in December of 2021 that female adolescents increased their visits to the emergency departments around the nation by 51% for suicidal ideations. In the face of this, schools are desperately seeking solutions and ways to support those that struggle with mental health challenges. Now, these statistics that I mentioned are averages. We know there are some cohorts that are at higher risk, particularly those students who do not feel they have a safe place or a legitimate connection to school. That's where eSports represents a tremendous opportunity. Students who are not currently involved with sports, music, arts, and traditional extracurriculars are left with minimal opportunities to make a connection. Yet many of these students find connections to their friends and other social outlets through online activity, including gaming. So Scholastic Gaming represents an opportunity to leverage an area of interest into a legitimate class that meets state standards and expectations, all through an evidence-based curriculum that can simultaneously support self-esteem, self-efficacy, and life skills in many kids who desperately need it. Hi, my name is Michael Russell. During my career as a teacher, I was fortunate enough to have the support of my administrator as I began the journey to establish the first four-credit scholastic gaming course in the nation. At HSEO, we have the resources and data to help you speak with your administrators about the impact that scholastic gaming and esports can have for your students. We have strategies that can help you with acquiring technology and curriculum, such as ESSER funds, grant applications, and partnerships. The High School Esports League has invested significant resources in helping our education partners, and we are excited about this opportunity to help you establish scholastic gaming in your school.